Zombies in Among Us? Super vision and super speed? Today we're going over some of the craziest Among Us mods the internet has ever seen. If you want to mix up your sessions, stay tuned. That's right, we're talking new game modes, cheats to win more games, and some super sneaky trolling techniques. We want to note right off the bat, use these at your own risk. Mods can damage your computer or phone and can get you banned. If you do plan on trying some of these out, please use them with friends on a private server. Otherwise, it's cheating. On top of that, it's super lame. Alright, disclaimer over. Before we get started, could you hit that shiny red subscribe button? It helps us out a ton and shows that you like what we're doing here. This is Newscape Games, your source for video game news, leaks, ideas, and theories. Okay everyone, to the meeting room! Sheriff Mod Here's another modded game mode that adds an entirely new layer to the game. The title of the mode comes from the new role, the Sheriff. As well as the imposters, the Sheriff has the ability to kill other players. Their objective is to find and kill the imposter. If they are wrong though, they both die. The Sheriff can win or lose the game for the crewmates and requires focus. We found this mode to be super super enjoyable. Use your power wisely, young Padawan. Force Vents this next one is wild and gives you a super unfair advantage as a crewmate. It's called Force Vents. As a crewmate, you can now enter any vent around the map. This is obviously a handicap since you can now use it to evade the imposters. All you have to do is click the All Enter Vent and your character will start beelining it for the nearest vent. We notice in our testing that you have to unclick the mod once you arrive. Otherwise, your character will be stuck in a strange animation. Unclick though and your character will hop in a vent. Pretty cool! Just like imposters, you need to make sure you're not seen doing this. If you're spotted, you'll be booted off the ship real quick. The other option, Force All Leave Vent, will get your character out of the vent. Similar to entering it, you have to unclick if you don't want to be stuck in a bug. We also found that the Force All Leave Vent can be used to vent anywhere on the map. Yeah, we mean literally anywhere. See someone sus headed your way? Press the Leave Vent button and your character will hop into the floor. This is an odd mod for sure. We also had a lot of fun messing around with it though. Zombies. Next up, we'll be going over one of the newest modded game modes. We're talking zombies. How is this game mode played? Simple. The imposter is the first zombie. To infect other players, all they have to do is touch them. When this happens, the affected player becomes a zombie. We think you can pick up the rest. The game ends either when players complete all tasks or when the zombies completely take over. Out of all the mods on our list, this one is probably our favorite. Each match is super intense and leads to a lot of screaming. We're longtime fans of modes like this too. Infected from Call of Duty, for example. Every game of zombies becomes more and more hectic, ending with tons of zombies chasing after one poor crewmate. It's awesome. It's something we definitely recommend you try with friends. Clone. This next game mode, called Clone, causes mass hysteria in your lobby. Why? Because everyone has the same avatar and name. See someone get killed? Doesn't really do much good, since you have no idea who did it. Spoiler alert, this game mode causes a lot of yelling. As the imposter, you have it real easy. Kill out in the open, who cares? The odds of you getting voted out are the same as everyone else. It may not be our favorite modded game mode, but it definitely brings out tons of laughs. Jester. This is a super weird game mode and super fun. Let us explain. Each game, players will still be given the roles of imposters and crewmates. Now though, a new role exists. Yup, the Jester. The objective for a Jester is simple. They're trying to get themselves killed. To do this, the best strategy is usually to act as sus as possible. Following people around, loitering near vents, or acting mega weird in meetings will usually do the trick. If you do get voted out, you win the game. The crewmates and imposters both lose. What's great about this game mode is it makes everyone super hesitant. Just because someone is acting suspicious doesn't mean they're an imposter. They could just be a jester. If you want a game full of confusion and finger pointing, play this one. <laughs> it's a ton of fun. There is also a similar game mode called troll. In this mode, one person is the said troll. If they're killed, they win. Kinda odd in our opinion. How the heck are you possibly supposed to know who the troll is? Eh, whatever. Moving on. Proximity Chat Let's talk about one of the biggest rules of Among Us. That rule? No talking. At least, not during the game. The mics get unmuted during meetings, but that's it. 
Now, with proximity chat, that's a thing of the past. When in range of a player, the two of you are allowed to speak to each other. You're not a murderer, are you? Nope, not at all. In our opinion, it improves the game a lot. All you'll need is Crewlink, an add-on program for Among Us. Download it and instruct your friends to do the same. Once everyone has it installed, you're good to go. Now, while in game, you'll be able to hear and talk to nearby players. We understand that being able to talk to everyone during the game can mess things up. With proximity chat though, those problems are somewhat remedied. It also adds a lot of immersion to the game. If you're right next to a player, they can be heard clearly. As they walk away, their voice gets quieter and quieter. Subscribe to the escape game! Isn't that cool? Hearing screams from the distance always gave us a good laugh. Talking to friends in the middle of a match was also great and helped make the game a little less repetitive. If you want to have some fun with friends, download the proximity chat add-on today. I see dead people. This next one is hilarious and comes with more perks than you'd think. As you know, dying means becoming a floating ghost. Now, you're free to do your tasks uninterrupted, invisible to those still living. With this mod though, the dead aren't so invisible. Actually, the exact opposite. At first, this may seem kinda useless, but think about it. If you keep track of it, you can now know when a new person has been killed each round. This is especially useful in the beginning. If all of a sudden a ghost floats by, you know someone has been recently murdered. Now, it's up to you to track down the body. Don't let everyone know how you found out though. Hide and seek. This isn't an official game mode within Scaled.net, but the private server does make it super easy to play. To do so, all the host has to do is type slash hide names. Now, it's considerably easier to hide, opening the possibilities to hide and seek. Start the game. Once the imposter is identified, they share the news with the rest of the players. Similar to regular hide and go seek, they stay at the spawn, waiting for the crewmates to hide. Then, very simply, they go and look for the other players. Hide and seek is also great since players don't have to mute their mics, which can lead to great conversation and great reactions. This game mode is super fun and a great change of pace from the regular game. Longer kill distance. Here's a mod that gives you a serious advantage over your friends. You'll have to be the imposter to take advantage of it though. When you are the imposter, you'll now have a significantly longer kill range, regardless of the settings. Think of it like the commando perk from Call of Duty. The best part? If you eliminate your buddies, they can't talk once their body is reported. Because of this, you can get away with this mod for a while. Kinda lame to do it too long, but it can be a super fun way to troll your friends. Again though, don't use this in a public server. The longer kill distance mod gives you a handicap that no one else has. Use it too long publicly, and you will get banned. Beware! Super Speed You ever wish you could run as fast as the Flash? While we can't help you IRL, we can show you super speed in Among Us. It's super simple too. All we have to do is crank up the speed meter and BOOM! Again, keep in mind, this is the kind of mod that can get you banned. I know we sound like a broken record, but if you're going to use it, we recommend doing so in private matches with friends. The advantages are obvious. If you're a crewmate, you can race to each task monumentally quicker than before. If the imposter is chasing you, your speed can outrun them easily. If you're the imposter, escaping the scene of the crime is a breeze. Because of this, you're considerably more difficult to catch. We had some fun with the super speed mod, but it was one that you had to be careful with. If anyone sees you zooming around the map, you'll be outed super quick. You can also easily set the speed too high, making it impossible to navigate the map accurately. Overall though, the super speed mod is pretty fun. Okay everyone, that's been a look at 10 different Among Us mods. Like we noted at the beginning of the video, if you do plan to try these, do so at your own risk. They could potentially be harmful to your computer or phone, and could get you banned from inner sloth servers. What did you all think of our list? Did you learn of a new mod? Or are all of these yesterday's news? Whatever the case, we'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below. Also, do you like us covering Among Us? Or potentially even other games? While we may primarily be a Fortnite channel, we like to mix it up from time to time. We'd love to know if you like the changeups. And one last thing before we go, remember to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and click that bell so you never miss a video. We'll see you all in the next one. Adios!